Senator, uh, listen to what President Bush says about Al Qaeda and its current assessment of the war in Iraq. Listen to this. For Al Qaeda, Iraq is not a distraction from their war on America. It is the central battlefield where the outcome of this struggle will be decided. Uh, he says it may not have been necessarily the central battlefield before the U.S. Uh, invasion of Iraq, but today for Al Qaeda, the situation in Iraq is priority number one. No, no. Al Qaeda is focusing and morphing in 60 different nations. Madrid, Spain, London, England. Where did the last attack on this country originate from or attempted attack? London. Uh, now, my, my problem is that five years after this attack on our country, people in Washington, the president, the, the vice president, and the attorney general, obviously, and Secretary Rumsfeld don't get it. I can't believe it. And instead of attacking bin Laden, they attacked Jack Murtha. I'm, I'm heading up an organization called vetsformurtha.org, www.vetsformurtha, M-U-R-T-H-A, dot org. And we are fighting back this year. We're not, not, not gonna let somebody like Jack Murtha, who has the experience, look at the president's policy in Iraq and say that the emperor's policy in Iraq has no clothes. If, 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 if Iraq was so important, why didn't they put in the 500,000 troops that General Shinseki wanted? Why didn't they put in the, the 500,000 troops that uh, Tommy Franks briefed on the first visit to Crawford, Texas about this war? No, they put in just enough troops to lose. And they got 2,600 kids killed, 25,000 maimed and wounded. And this is enough. It's time to redeploy the troops and refocus our energies on killing and capturing Osama bin Laden. Senator Cleland, I want you to clarify this uh, story that came out in recent days that you're suffering right now from post-traumatic stress disorder as a result of your uh, injuries during the Vietnam War and, and more recently. But uh, our viewers are concerned. Tell our viewers what's going on. Well, you know, war takes its toll. I mean, it was Ernest Hemingway that said, after his injuries in World War I, uh, that uh, the world breaks us all. And afterward, many are strong with the broken places. Uh, I've been fortunate in my life to have the strength of God and the help of friends in my life to help get me stronger. Uh, but I'm working on it. It's a, it's a lifetime project for me. My concern now is about the youngsters coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan. They're wounded in body, mind, and soul, and we should take care of them. And that's one reason for why I'm fighting for better counseling and, and more counseling for, under the Veterans Administration for them. Senator Cleland, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you.